You've probably seen the videos of people flexing their homemade mining setups, overclocked video cards, self-made mining rigs, and whole basement setups. Yes, in the past few years, a handful of people have printed millions with crypto mining from the comfort of their homes. But I'm here to tell you that mining from home is death, at least for 99% of all people. So did you miss the boat or is there still an opportunity to make money with crypto mining? Spoiler alert, yes, there is. And in this video, I'm going to reveal how. Mining is one of the most profitable business models that nobody is talking about. If you search on the internet, you won't find many great resources that explain how normal people like you and me can make money with crypto mining without having to be super technical, have millions to get started, or having connections in the government to get access to cheap electricity. If you're excited about this crypto bull market and you want to maximize your profit as a crypto investor, be sure to smash this like button and to subscribe to my channel for more videos because throughout this bull market, I'm going to be consistently uploading valuable videos and tutorials that will help you to get an edge in the crypto market. And I'm going to make sure that I'm going to upload content that you won't find on any other YouTube channel. Before we can answer the question whether Bitcoin mining from home is profitable or not, we first need to clarify what Bitcoin mining actually is. So whenever you're doing a transaction on the Bitcoin network, you're sending Bitcoin from one wallet to another wallet, then basically this transaction is added to a bigger block of transactions. And these blocks of transactions are processed by the Bitcoin miners. Bitcoin miners are individuals or companies that own specialized pieces of hardware that process transactions on the Bitcoin network. Miners basically make sure that your wallet balance is updated accurately and that people can transact on the Bitcoin network. And in return for processing all of these transactions, they get rewarded with new Bitcoin. Basically, these machines turn electricity into Bitcoin. They are the closest thing to a money printer that you can find. In case you didn't know, I actually run a few Bitcoin mining farms myself. At the moment of recording this video, we're currently managing over 80,000 Bitcoin mining machines in our three mining farms. These are the latest generation of Bitcoin mining machines called ASICs. These are special computers that have been designed with one purpose in mind, to produce Bitcoin at the lowest possible cost. But Bitcoin mining didn't always happen with these special machines. If we look at the evolution of Bitcoin mining, let's go all the way back to 2009, then the most common form of mining was actually CPU mining. Anyone could install a special piece of software on their computer and mine Bitcoin with their CPU. But Miners are always looking to get an edge over their competition and there is a big financial incentive to do so. So miners started to look for new, more efficient ways to produce Bitcoin at the lowest possible rate. And that's when they discovered GPU mining. So GPU mining is basically mining with video cards, often video cards from special gaming computers. And the evolution didn't stop there because the next stage was mining with FPGAs. What are FPGAs? Those are field programmable gate arrays. Those are special pieces of hardware that can be easily reprogrammed for specific use cases. And one of the use cases that people discovered was Bitcoin mining. And every step of this evolution, Bitcoin miners squeezed more efficiency out of their mining setups. The final stage of the evolution is mining with ASICs. An ASIC or ASIC stands for Application Specific Integrated Circuit. It is literally a custom built computer for one sole purpose to produce Bitcoin at the lowest possible rate. However, it looks and feels like a computer. It's literally a box like this, but everything has been stripped and only the components that contribute to this goal have been incorporated into the machine. Um, and when I mentioned the 80,000 machines that we're currently managing in our mining farms, those are all ASIC miners. So can you just simply buy an ASIC and mine from the comfort of your home? The answer is no, you can't. I'm going to explain why and afterwards I am going to explain a solution how you can still mine profitably. Because you can still mine profitably, but you need to think about it in a different way. Okay, now let's discuss the reasons why mining at home isn't accessible for most people. So reason number one is technical know-how. Most people don't have the technical know-how how to set up 
and maintain these machines. They don't even know what machines to buy. This market is moving very rapidly. There's a few different suppliers out there, each with their own models. And it changes from time to time which one of these machines are the best purchases. It requires understanding and experience to pick the right ones. And reason number two is access to machines. Suppliers of Bitcoin mining hardware or crypto mining hardware in general, they don't want to deal with individual customers that want to buy one or a few different machines. They prefer to deal directly with customers that are buying hundreds of machines or thousands of machines in one go. So yes, there are a bunch of resellers of mining hardware on the internet, but this is the crypto industry and unfortunately it is full with scams. So there might be a crypto reseller with a simple web shop, which is listing very cheap machines and you think you might have a really great bargain deal, but the moment you transfer your money to this web shop, you'll never hear anything of them again. Then there is a third reason, which is the noise. There is so much noise coming from these machines. Your neighbor won't be happy and you probably also won't be happy. These machines produce so many decibels that when you expose yourself to this sound for too long, you'll probably damage your hearing. Okay, then the fourth reason, which is the heat that these machines produce. These machines get so extremely warm in the process. Have you ever opened too many tabs on your computer or ran too many programs at the same time and then suddenly your computer starts to make this weird sound and get really warm. Well, imagine that, but on steroids. These machines are working 24 seven without a break. In the process, they get somewhere between 80 degrees Celsius or 170 degrees Fahrenheit hot, and that is a lot. You literally need special heat extraction systems and special cooling systems just to regulate the environment where these machines are located in. Okay, the fifth reason is access to cheap electricity. These machines are quite power hungry. You can compare them to your washing machine. Only your washing machine is functioning for a few hours during the day, but these machines are working 24 seven. And as a result, your electricity cost is quite a significant chunk of your cost as a crypto miner or Bitcoin miner, any kind of crypto, your electricity cost will be really significant. So you ideally want to bring down the cost of your electricity so that you can maximize your profits as a miner. And most people simply don't have access to cheap electricity at home. Have you ever heard of Darwin's evolution theory? It is not the strongest ones that survive. Those that best adapt to a changing environment, those will survive and thrive. So many things have changed when it comes to Bitcoin mining, but does that mean that Bitcoin mining is dead? No. It means that you need to adapt to a changing environment. So what is the solution to still mine profitably in 2024? Well, the solution is to pool together your resources. If you cannot mine profitably at home anymore as an individual, you should look into forming a collective of investors because together you can buy machines in bulk, driving the cost of the machines down. Together, you have much more power to negotiate better electricity deals. And by bringing these costs down, you can increase your profitability as a collective. With this philosophy, I started Epic Mining in 2021. I saw that there was an increased demand for Bitcoin mining, but everyone was running into the same obstacles. So I created a plug and play system. We would buy the machines on the behalf of our investors and our community members. We would then ship the machines to our mining facility where we would connect them to our cheap green energy so that everything would be completely automated, hands off and profitable for our investors. Uh, currently, we have hundreds of investors worldwide that are making use of this setup. We literally manage everything so that you can sit back and watch the automated payouts come into your wallet. And if you're curious how all of this works, then click on the link in the description below, schedule a call with me or one of my team members and we'll be happy to provide you with more information. We can even show you an ROI forecast of what one of these machines would cost and what they could generate in different market scenarios. We can even give you a virtual tour of our mining facility so that you understand how everything is connected together, how everything looks like and where your machines basically will be hosted. Again, if you're interested in all of that, uh, click on the link in the comments below. That being said, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you shifted your mind and you understand that mining is still profitable in 2024, but you need to think about it in a different way. All right, make sure to smash the like button if you got good value out of this video. Subscribe to my channel 
if you want to get more similar useful videos and tutorials in the next few weeks and months as I'm going to be uploading consistently throughout the crypto bull market to help you to get an edge in the market. And I highly recommend you to also check out these videos which I have linked above here. And um, yeah, peace out. See you in the next one.